Why hello, I am the clock. I will be your guide to creating a weekly schedule by putting the things that matter most into the minutes of your day. We will be using Stephen Covey's time matrix and time management methods. Please consider, what is one thing you can start doing that would make a terrific impact on your life? This is the kind of thinking you will be doing in the Roles and Goals worksheets. Putting first things first is a matter of applying your personal mission to the moment, letting your moral compass empower your weekly planning and preparation. So, where do you spend most of your time? Let's look at the time matrix Covey uses to categorize activities. Urgent and important activities that you must manage and respond to are classified as Quadrant 1. You can't avoid spending time in Quadrant 1. Deadlines must be met, crisis meetings planned, band-aids administered. Procrastination and lack of planning makes it all worse. Important but not urgent activities are found in Quadrant 2, the Quadrant of Quality and Personal Leadership. This is where you prepare, prevent, clarify values, plan, build relations, recreate, help, and empower others. Quadrant 2 includes taking better care of yourself, professional development, learning, reading, self-examination, improving communication, judgment making, vision, creativity, innovation, being an agent for change, helping others find their voice, and worship. Unimportant but urgent activities are found in Quadrant 3, and unimportant non-urgent activities are classified in Quadrant 4. Recognize where you're spending your time or spinning your wheels. Try to keep as much time in Quadrant 2 activities as possible. Now, let's begin planning. Number 1. Create a focus. Write a mission statement. Your vision for life at top of schedule. Number 2. Beneath your mission statement, write goals for personal development. Number 3. Write your roles in the roles box on your planner. Number four, use quadrant number two to create goals that will make the biggest weekly impact for each role. Write them in the goals box for each role. Number five, schedule quadrant two priority goals and activities under daily priorities and or set specific time. Translate your mission to the moment. Number six, Schedule other activities. It may help to determine which quadrant they fall in. Perhaps eliminate some quadrant 3 or quadrant 4 activities. Number 7. Allow for flexibility. Make a framework for quality decisions based on importance that can be made on a day-by-day, moment-by-moment basis. Number 8. At the end of the week, evaluate last week's challenges, decisions, progress towards goals, and ability to maintain priorities before creating a new schedule. So, there you have it. A brief description of becoming a Quadrant 2 self-manager. Identify your roles, select goals, schedule, and adapt.